Welcome to Fire Research Corporation's instructional overview on a multi-point calibration of the InSight Ultimate Flow and Pressure Meter. In order to calibrate a flow meter, you must use another calibrated flow meter or a pitot gauge and flow chart to get a steady reference flow. All programming and calibration is accomplished by using three magnet sensors located on the front of the display module. The north pole of a small magnet is placed on the glass in close proximity to the magnet sensor and then moved away to activate the sensor. We will begin the multiple point calibration by entering the program code 322. Touch and hold a small magnet on the glass at the M3 sensor location until the display shows four dashes. Now touch the M1 sensor with the magnet. The number 100 shows in the display. Touch the M1 sensor twice more to change the first digit to a 3. Touch the magnet to the M2 sensor twice so that the second digit becomes a 2. Now touch the magnet to the M1 sensor twice so that the third digit becomes a 2. You have now accessed the multipoint calibration program which displays PT1. The flow meter is now ready to have the first calibration point set. Set the display to the first known water flow. In this example, the reference flow is 175. Touch the magnet to the M1 sensor to select the digit to change. Touch the M2 sensor to change that digit as needed. Touch the M1 sensor again so that the second digit is flashing and again touch the M2 sensor as needed for the desired number. Repeat these steps until the display matches the reference flow. Now touch the magnet to the M3 sensor briefly and the display now shows PT2 which is the next calibration point. Change the water flow and adjust the display to the second known water flow by again touching the magnet to the M1 sensor to select the digit to change and then touching the M2 sensor to change that digit as needed. Continuing, touch the magnet to the M3 sensor briefly. The display now shows PT3, the third calibration point. We will repeat the procedure as before by first touching the M1 sensor to select the digit to change, touching the M2 sensor to change the digit, and finally touching the M3 sensor to move on to the next calibration point. You can repeat these steps for up to 10 different calibration points. These calibration points should be in the most commonly used range of the discharge. Each point must be at least 5% different from any other calibration point. In this example, we will finish the calibration process after calibrating 5 points. To complete the calibration procedure, Touch and hold the magnet to the M3 sensor until the display shows four dashes. The program will time out after five seconds and return to normal operation. The calibration is now complete. Note, when putting in programming codes, there is a timeout feature that returns the program to normal operation in five seconds if an input is not detected. For more information on these settings, please download the InSight Ultimate Flow Meter Manual at www.fireresearch.com.